Welcome to Key Point 800. In this video, I will be taking Section 3, the Math No Calculator section of the third SAT practice test. And as I take the test, I will personally show you strategies I use to get a perfect SAT score. Also, this video is intended for those with strong math fundamentals. So, um, it's recommended that you're taking pre-calculus or have taken pre-calculus and that you have a strong understanding of algebra and geometry. So let's get started. Number one, a painter will paint end walls with the same size and shape in a building using a specific brand of paint. The painter's fee can be calculated by the expression NKLH, where N is the number of walls, K is a constant with units of dollars per square foot, L is the length of each wall in feet, and H is the height of each wall in feet. If the customer asks the painter to use more expensive brand of paint, uh, which of the factors will in the expression will change? So this has to do with price, so we need to look at which variable deals with price, and we see that K is the one that deals with price, so the answer is C. Number two, if three R equals 18, what is the value of 6R plus 3? Um, so we can get 6R by multiplying this equation by 2 on both sides and get 6R is equal to 36. So substitute that into 6R, you get 36 plus 3, and the answer will be D, 39. Which of the following is equal to uh, A to the power of 2 thirds for all values of A? You get um, Exponents for exponents um, that are fractions, the the numerator is the is raising to the power of, and then the denominator is rooting the the um, base. So you can see um, we know that is cube root because the denominator is three. So you can eliminate these two answers, and then the top is two. So the answer is D. Number four. The number of states that joined the United States between 1776 and 1849 is twice the number that joined between 1850 and 1900. If 30 states joined between 1776 and 1849 and X states joined between uh, 1850 and 1900, which of the following equations is true? So we know that um, 30 for the first period and then x for the second period. So we know that the first period is twice uh, the number of states that joined. So that means that this can be written as 30 equals 2x. So the answer is b. Number five, if five over x is equal to 15 over x plus 20, what is the value of x over 5? Well, let's just solve this equation and see what happens. So, if we cross cross multiply, we can get, so like that, get 15x equals to 5x plus 100, 10x equals 100, x is equal to 10, and x over 5, so divide by 5, get 2. Okay, number six, uh, we have if x, y is a solution to the system of the equations above, what is the value of x minus y? So let's solve this uh, system. Uh, we can do that by multiplying the top by 2, negative 2, and then bottom by 3 get negative 4x plus 6y is equal to 28 and then bottom 9x minus 6y is equal to negative 18 add those two together you get 5x is equal to 10 x is equal to 2 so let's now let's solve for y plug in y into I'll choose a second equation so uh, 6 minus 2y is equal to negative 6 
uh, negative 2y is equal to negative 12, y equals 6. So when you do 2 minus 6, that's negative 4. The answer is C. Number 7. The function f is defined by a polynomial. Some values of x and f of x are shown in the table above. Which of the following must be a factor of f of x? So, we know that um, in a graph, the factors are usually the zeros. So, like this and this. So, we need to look at where the y is zero. So, we can see that f of x is zero here. So, that must mean that one of the factors is x minus 4. Number 8, the line y equals kx plus 4, where k is a constant, is graphed in the xy plane. If the line contains the point cd, where c is not 0 and d is not 0, what is the slope of the line in terms of c and d? Okay, so we know that the y-intercept is uh, 0, 4 from the equation and thus we know that it contains a point that in the um, prize over run so x2 minus x1 or my bad is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so we have uh, d for y2 and then minus 4 over c minus 0 and so this is nothing see that the answer is a number 9 is the system of the equations above k is a constant and x and y are variables for what value of k will the system of equations have no solution So what we want is for both of the variables to eliminate and leave a um, unsatisfactory answer. So let's see. We can use um, these two. Um, we want these uh, two equations to be the same line. So, uh, or have the same slope but different y-intercepts like that. That means no solutions. So we can see that. Um, we can uh, we can find this uh, slope by solving for y. So for the first equation, uh, it would, that would be negative kx plus four over negative three, and that you multiply by negative. That's equal to um, or cancel out the negatives. That, that would be equal to kx over 3 minus 4 over 3 and do the same process for the second equation y is equal to um, negative 4x plus 7 over negative 5 and simplify that to 4 over 5x uh, minus 7 over 5 so now we have we want the slopes to be the same so that they they're um they can be parallel. So set the two slopes this one and this one equal to each other. Uh, k x over three. The x's cancel out. One by three over k is equal to twelve over five. Answer is a. Number ten. Um, in the x y plane. The parabola with equation y equals x minus 11 squared intersects the equation y equals 25 at two points a and b. What is the length of ab? All right, so the easier way to do this is to keep it at that um, square, square both sides plus minus 5. Don't forget about when you square it's plus minus. So x is equal to 5. Minus 11 and x is equal to uh, negative 5 minus 11. So x is equal to um, 
negative 6 and also negative 16. And see the distance between these two is 10, the answer is A. Alright, number 11. In the figure above, lines K, L, and M intersect at a point. If X plus Y, so these two, and um, U plus W is the same, or is equal, um, which of the following must be true? So you know that, um, based on this picture, we can see that um, Z is supplementary to um, both of these. So we can say that Z plus X plus Y equals 180. And we know that uh, T um, is supplementary to, U, to both U and W. Uh, so we can say that T plus W plus U is equals 180. We can see that since these are the same, x plus y and w plus u are the same, that must mean, and they add, um, and so that must mean that z and t are also equal. So, um, number three, and the third option is right. You can prove this by, um, making this angle measure like some random letter, like, uh, we can say that the angle measure is a and a. So if we rewrite these equations, we get Z equals A plus A equals 180, and T plus A is equal to 180. Um, and if we set the equations equal to each other based on 180, Z minus plus A is equal to T plus A, and then Z equals T. So that's the mathematical proof. So now, based on this knowledge, we can find out the other options. So, let's look at this, x equals z. So let's look at x and z. So x, we can see that as a vertical angle to t, so that means that x equals t. And if x equals t and z equals t, by transitive property, x is also equal to z. So that's right, so let's look at option two. Uh, okay, let's eliminate answers first. So we have one and three. So it can't be that, can't be that, because it needs three, so we, we're between those two choices. So now, um, so is there any way that y equals w? Well, looking at this, uh, let's use the same process as we did last time. So y is vertical angle to u, so y equals u. But uh, how does that relate to w? We're not really sure how it relates to W or Z, or Z, which is what we used last time. So we, we're not really sure if T is right, so the answer is B. Number 12, Y equals A, X plus 2, X plus 4. In the quadratic equation above, A is a non-zero constant. The graph in the xy plane is the parabola cd which of the following is equal to d so you can find d by putting this um equation in vertex form so first let's just shoot um so x squared plus 2x plus minus 8 so we can get this to vertex form by completing the square so um we'll add one here and subtract one so you get a x plus 2 or x plus 1 squared minus 9. Um, so when you shoot, this is the y of the vertex. And when you shoot uh, this a, you get negative 9a. So the answer is a. Number 13, the equation um, 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 over ax minus 2. Z equal to negative 8x minus 3 minus 53 over ax minus 2. It's true for all values except x, except when x equals 2 over a, where a is constant. What is the value of a? Uh, we can just do some long division. 
I guess. So. So let's do some long revision, I guess. Alright. So. So, A. Oh, I need to rewrite this. So, this is A X minus T, and so um, I guess A goes into that negative A X times. Alright. So based on that, this is um, this is what it says. So negative X. So what A um, let's see, so it's basically, um, so w what gave this negative 8 up here? So, this is 24, and this is negative 8. 24 divided by negative 8 is equal to negative 3. The answer is B. Number 14, what are the solutions to this equation? Okay, so we're going to divide them by 3. Looks like we'll have to use the quadratic formula. So, 16 minus 8 over 2. Now you 4 plus minus. So that square root of 8, that's also can be written as 2 squares of 2. Divide by 2. Divide the whole thing by 2. Answer is A. Our number 15. Uh, we're given this equation, which of the following must be true. So number one, a temperature increase of one degree in Fahrenheit is equal equivalent to a temperature increase of five over nine degrees Celsius. So when we increase this by one, plus one, uh, it goes up by five knife based on this. So that's true. Number two, uh, this is equal to one point. All right, so let's solve for uh, C. We're gonna do that by uh, one point eight C, because nine over five is one point eight. Uh, so it looks like that is also true. And finally, number three. Well, there's no third option that includes all of them, so you can see that answer is D. All right, number 16. What is one possible solution to the equation above? So let's just show you. Uh, so then, uh, just move the minus negative four X over. Let's divide by um, X. So that we can get a equation we can actually solve. So this is a regular factoring problem. So minus four and oh, when I move this over, it's actually positive. So make sure you don't make those kind of mistakes. Okay, and then um, let's use an easy one. All right, we can use this one. Uh, this is just one, so bubble in one, or we can have also two here based on that equation because it's there's many possible values. Sometimes use negative because x is over one, so or we can, yeah, so the other option is two. All right, so now number 17, uh, what is the value of x? So let's just add these together, so we're gonna combine like terms here. That's that's um, 3 over 9, or that's 1 over 3. x is equal to times this by 3. So this is equivalent to 3 over 12. Add that together, 8 over 12, which is equivalent to um, uh, 2 over 3. So now we can multiply by 3. x equals 2. That's their answer. 
number 18 uh, two isosceles triangle if 180 minus z equals that and y is equals to 2y and y equals 75 what is the value of x so y is equals to 75 so let's just solve for y so 180 minus z equals 150 or solve for z I mean and z equals 30 degrees since we know there's 30 degrees now and we can get that angle here by simply uh, 180 minus 30 divided by 2 and so this angle is would be uh, 75 so 130 so this is a this angle is a sum of this angle plus this angle and so 75 um, plus 30 equals 105 that's your answer you can also do 180 minus 75 since it's supplementary this angle is the same so you can also get do that and get 105 number 19 at a lunch stand each hamburger has 50 more calories than each order of fries if two hamburgers and three orders of fries have a total of 70, 1700 calories how many calories do you, does a hamburger have so so um hamburger is equal to f plus 50 fry 50 more calories and if two hamburgers and two hamburgers and three fries is equal to 700 we have use um elimination or actually in this case we can use uh substitution so substitute this f plus 50 in you get 2f plus 100 plus 3f is equal to 700 uh, subtract stuff over divide by, by 5 uh, they use long division All right, looks like it's 320. Yeah, 320. And then, so we have 320, but hamburger is 50 more, so it's 370. Finally, um, in triangle ABC, A, B, C, this is 90 degrees, B is 90 degrees, and B, C is equal to 16, A, C is equal to 20, and now we have triangle D, E, F, D, E, F, and they correspond, so, and there's some here corresponding, each triangle D, E, F is one third the length, uh, what is sine F, um, so this is this is pretty um tricky but it's actually not tricky so so sign f here so angles on similar triangles are the same so it doesn't matter that def is smaller than abc so let's just ignore def so let's find the sign of c which corresponds to f so sign of c so um First, we can, should solve for um, AB. We can do that by um, actually, no. This is a three four five triangle. If you divide this by five, uh, I mean four. This is equal to five. This is equal to, or this is almost the same as five. It's proportional to four. You divide by four, and that means um that. This one is equal to not um so three yeah twelve so three times four is twelve so we can see that so the sine of c c is twelve over twenty and that simplifies down to 
divided by 4 on both numerator and denominator is 3 over 5. And that is all for the first SAT, um, I mean the third SAT practice test for the no calculator section.